Hello, welcome to Juniper Level Botanic Garden, the home of Plant Delights Nursery. Today we're going to meet a native, and as you all know, all natives are great garden plants. This is nut sedge. It's a sedge and not a grass. I think when I was a kid we called it nut grass. It's called nut sedge because they make little tubers, little round tubers underground. These are probably early in the time of year when it's making tubers. They get about twice the size. Um, and nut sedge is in the sedge family. It's in the uh, genus Cyperus, the same genus as papyrus, the Egyptian source of um, fibers to make uh, paper. But anyhow, this is yellow nut sedge, Cyperus esculentus. Um, esculentus means delicious. Well, these little nuts, you know, only by common name, they're not true nuts, but uh, as you would imagine, um, are edible. And if you know the drink that's popular in Mexican restaurants called horchata, nowadays it's traditionally made with rice. It's sort of like a rice milk that's sweetened and probably a bit of cinnamon in it. But the traditional uh, carbohydrate source was the nuts of yellow nut sedge and probably more common in Europe, the purple nut sedge. Um, I can't imagine harvesting enough of these to make a glass of horchata. But anyhow, um, this is a perennial native plant. It's this one, the yellow nut sedge and the very similar purple nut sedge are considered some of the worst weeds in, uh, in agriculture. And part of the problem is it's really hard to get rid of because when you pull it out of the ground, you're going to leave lots of these little rhizomes. Rhizomes are underground stems. You know, the ginger you bought at the grocery store for um, dinner tonight has a big, broad rhizome. Um, some rhizomes are very slender, and this is um, very slender. And a rhizome is an underground stem, and because it's a stem, it has a bud at each node. So any piece of the stem that has one of these nodes can put up a new plant. Plus, when you pull it out, you're sure to leave a bunch of these little um, nuts behind. And so all of those little pieces left behind underground will regenerate the new plant. You could uh, perhaps religiously pull it out every time it pops out of the ground and maybe a lifetime later, um, managed to control it. Um, but it's difficult. Years ago, a friend told me that his father's solution to nut sedge, he said the only way to control nut sedge, or the only way to be rid of it, was to move. And I think that's about right. Now, nowadays, we have herbicides that um, are fairly s specific for nut sedge. But be careful because they haven't been tested on all um, ornamentals and a few ornamentals um, are susceptible to this um, sedge herbicide. But when you apply a herbicide to the foliage without disturbing the parts of the plant underground, it gets translocated through the plant, through the rhizome and, and the nuts, so you have a better chance of getting rid of it. But um, until the point time when you get rid of it, you can be the proud um, owner of a native plant in your garden. Thank you very much for your time today, and I hope to see you again in the garden.